Hello everyone. Welcome to yet another episode of Mind Wars Masterclass. I am Ankit Misri. I am teaching Chemistry and Biology at CP Goenka International School and also heading the Science Department at IGCSE and IBDP level. You must have heard of a terrorist attack. Terrorist is a person who they come with an intention of destroying the other country's peace, property, and life. So when they enter, they breach the borders, and once they enter, they start to influence others and increase their number and their activities. If the local police can detect the activities in advance, then the activity can be reduced. Local police then take an uh, help of control room for get a stronger defenses, and then there is a battle. Whoever is the stronger of the battle wins. But if the local police fail to detect, then the terrorist activities goes. increasing and so anti social activities can damage property life and peace beyond repair so with this analogy let me take you to a small concept of immunity the air around us is full of microorganisms some of them are beneficial to mankind some of them are disease causing we call it pathogens but in spite of them we are in a very good condition in a good state of health for this we must thank our immune system So, what is immunity, and what are the types of immunity? Let us explore us in our today's master class. The immune system is a series of defense mechanism in our body that work 24/7 to help protect our body from the attack of pathogens. The immune system is made up of specialized cells called white blood cells (WBCs) and proteins that is enzymes and antibodies. Now, let me take you through different lines of defense in our body. The first line of defense in our body, which is the skin, skin secretes an oily secretion called sebum, which is antibacterial and antifungal. Except one bacteria which grows on the surface of the skin. Do you know that? That is called Propionibacterium acne. And also one more thing, did you know that that skin is the largest organ in our human body? The second part of the first line of defense is the tears. Our tears release an enzyme. Lysozyme and it releases water. Water will keep the cornea moist and prevents it from drying. And lysozyme helps to kill bacteria because eye is exposed to the external atmosphere. So a bacteria called Staphylococcus aureus grows on the surface of the skin eyes and cause eye infection called conjunctivitis. Low level of this lysozyme increases the chances of having conjunctivitis. The next part of the first line of defense is a human stomach. Stomach secrete a acid called hydrochloric acid and the pH of the acid is 2, highly acidic. So the food that we consume has lot of microorganism, lot of bacteria, but most of us do not get food poisoning. The only reason is the hydrochloric acid which is present in the stomach which is antibacterial, antifungal. So it kills most of the bacteria and fungi. Another part of the first line of defense is our respiratory tract the goblet cell which are specialized cell which release mucus this mucus is there in the respiratory tract which trap dust particles and the microorganism and when we sneeze the microorganism and dust particle trap mucus then comes out and also help to release pathogens out of the body now this was the first line of defense in our body let us explore to the another level that is the second line of defense of our innate immune system comprising of this specialized cell called phagocyte just like a local police phagocytes circulate within the human body in the blood they are bigger in size compared to the red blood cell and have 3 to 5 nuclei they attack the pathogen break it down into small small pieces the broken parts of the pathogen are then released outside which act as antigen which are given to a higher cells more specialized called the third level of defense in our body the adaptive immune response the adaptive immune response is carried out by lymphocytes and these are of two types b lymphocyte and t lymphocyte b lymphocyte are made in the bone marrow both the red and uh, b and the t lymphocyte are made in the bone marrow and b lymphocyte make large number of proteins called antibodies these antibodies are very specific in function because they bind to the antigens on the bacteria immobilize them and help to kill them 
and T lymphocytes which are there in our body, what do they do? They destroy infected body cells and helps reduce the number of pathogens in our body. Both the B and the T lymphocyte produce memory cell. This memory cell remain in our circulation for long term. So that when a reinfection takes place, the memory cells become active and release large number of antibodies, which help to decrease the number of path uh, pathogens in our body in a very short span of time. I think this should give you a clear understanding of all the three levels of defense in our body, which help to strengthen our immune system and prevents pathogens from multiplying in our body. Just like we need to protect our house from strangers, we also need to strengthen it by having regular exercise, diet rich in fruits and vegetables, exposure ourselves to sunlight and reducing the stress level in our body. Because stress releases cortisol, which is immunosuppressive. It suppresses the immune system. Now let's support our brave warriors, both the medical team, which is helping us outside by following safety protocols, wearing masks, using sanitizers and social distancing and also the inner warriors, our white blood cells by providing them with healthy nutrients. Just like we take care of our body is important, taking care of mind is equally important. So for more such videos, keep watching Mind Wars Masterclass and log on to Z5 and play Mind Wars. Goodbye.